There is so much noise about CRISPR gene editing that sometimes it feel like, feels like there's nothing else happening in the biotech world apart from CRISPR. Well, truth be told, this is how media works. If something wins a Nobel Prize, everybody's looking that way. Is it that CRISPR is the only thing which is happening in biotech? Are there no other improvements or advancements happening? Well, the truth is no. CRISPR is one of the advancements, but CRISPR is not the only one which is happening. There are multitudes of things happening around. I looked into more than 300 plus research papers and then finally concluded uh, this, that there are five more trends which you should be aware about. Now, to start with, definitely I'm not a CRISPR critic. Rather, I would say CRISPR is game changer. And yes, of course, Biotechnica provides you a CRISPR hands-on training online as well as offline. So yeah, that, that's perfectly there. But you should know about other things also apart from CRISPR, right? So uh, to start with, uh, the first thing which comes in my mind is something bigger than CRISPR is coming. What's that? Now look at the three improvements which is happening side by side. It's like all the three racers are racing at the same racetrack, but at the end they all are going to combine together. And what are those? Bioinformatics, machine learning and artificial intelligence and quantum computing. So in this race, bioinformatics is ahead. Quantum computing is the last, but the middle one is AI ML. Now, finally, what will happen 10 years from today, all these three will combine together and to become a formidable force. But what will happen next is AI for everything in biological research. Number one, drug discovery, right? So uh, recently there was an interview of uh, NVIDIA CEO and he says that gone are those days when people will code, right? <laughs> I will say that gone are those days when people will do drug discovery, AI will do the drug discovery. So drug discovery using artificial intelligence and machine learning is one major thing happening around the world, which probably is going to take over the entire drug discovery industry. Okay. The second one is diagnostics. You will not believe how advanced AI is as of today. It can just look at your reports and tell you what exactly is the problem. Right. So improving diagnostics through AI driven tool, enhancing the accuracy and speed of medical diagnostics and assessment. I think this is a game changer. The third thing where AI will come into picture is personalized medicine, enhancing personalized medicine by integrating AI into various aspects of biotechnology. This is again going to be a game changer till date. Why we don't have personalized medicine? Because it is not scalable. And pharma companies want to sell something which is scalable. But personalized medicine will come into picture when you send across your data and accordingly the drug is customized and comes for you. So it is customized tailor make for you and it is going to impact you without any side effects. So that is one era which is yet to come. But yeah, AI for everything in biological research is on its way. Ahead is bioinformatics. Behind that is AI ML and behind that is quantum computing, all the three are going to combine together and become a formidable force, right? Now, let's move on to the next one, which is RNA technologies. Now, this particular thing is again stemming out of bioinformatics. But yeah, Moderna was uh, one of the pioneers of doing the vaccine for um, COVID-19 pandemic. And they designed a vaccine. In fact, an Indian alumni of Biotechnica himself was involved in that. And what they did is they created the vaccine which does not contain the viral particles. So they don't, they don't need a virus. They reverse engineered the virus and created the RNA vaccine. And that was equally effective. So building upon the success of mRNA based COVID-19 vaccine and then applying this technology for, for wider application. For example, creating vaccines, treatment for various diseases, cancer and everything. So that's where RNA technology comes into picture. Apart from CRISPR, I think this is another trend which you should be aware about. Third one, which, which which is again surprising to me but yeah targeted protein degradation three approaches to this one is selective elimination the second is natural disposal and the third is via treatment so selective elimination is where we focus on selectively eliminating harmful or disease causing proteins in the body the second obviously is uh, the approach is you harness the body's natural protein disposal system and the third will be 
treating the disease using various medicines right so this is where targeted protein degradation is one such area which is going to be a revolution of the future if you are doing research in that then this is going to be a huge thing keep this in mind now the fourth one which i have for you and i believe is huge 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 and that is bioprinting and tissue engineering look at this you liked a graph or a image on the internet so you just send a print command right but somebody had an accident and he lost his leg or hand now transplanting another leg or hand or a limb is very difficult prosthetics are the only way what if tomorrow using your you know own cells you could print your own organ and attach it right imagine the immense potential this field has and okay let's achieve uh, let's let's believe that this is far fetched okay but what if we could grow organs we could print organs and test the drugs on that instead of testing it on humans so human trials we could rule out so functional tissues we can create and then three dimensional organs we can create organ transplantation industry can be completely replaced and at the same time regenerative medicine where we use regenerative medicine to treat patients so yeah these are the three approaches where bioprinting 3d bioprinting will come into picture already there are a lot of startups in india up across the globe which are working on this i'm quite hopeful about that and since it has come to about regenerative medicine i i know one of the best colleges in asia for regenerative medicine is called as mirm which is manipal institute of regenerative medicine it is right here in the heart of bangalore and you can come and join here if you are a bachelor student do your masters here and then you can do research on 3d bioprinting regenerative medicine and also on stem cells you haven't talked about stem cells i think this is the next and the fifth trend which i have stem cell research is taking off finally and regenerative medicine is, is pushing its frontier so is cancer now recently there was a news that person in california or something in us he had hiv and he had cancer both got treated through his stem cells so stem cell research is finally taking off it's seeing some solid promises um, happening and a lot of investments it is attracting so these are five things which is taking the industry forward not just crispr so crispr is the sixth one probably so if we look at this that somewhere all this is going to improve the quality of our living making us live disease free and at the same time pushing the boundaries of science and uh, making us believe that some point in time fiction will be fact so uh, i have always said this um, to my team here that whatever we are seeing in hollywood movies today will be a reality in 10 years now i should change this it should be reality probably in 3 years because you know we have seen this happening in uh, hollywood movies that people print the organs and attach it back or uh, you know cancer hiv getting treated we in fact saw about uh, the pandemic in movies and it happened but we also saw mrna vaccines coming in so yeah uh, probably uh, the hollywood uh, imaginative producers are much more ahead of time but i must say that biological research is not behind with these six trends we are definitely going to make it large in the biotech sector so don't lose hope keep studying keep learning keep moving forward because sky is the limit in fact sky is also not the limit thank you so much take care bye bye